are uh, very tiny little apple trees and they're in a form called a step over. So what is a step over? What's the advantage of that? So step overs are more of a cheeky sort of thing. So a lot of people will use them to line their walkways. Uh, just imagine having a walkway leading up to your front door with this very small um, apple tree. And so these are probably, you know, uh, four and a half feet in length and they could get a little bit longer. These are still pretty young. They're only about seven years old. So they're just gonna get stronger and more uh, fruiting wood on them as years come. And so when it's in bloom, we've got these clusters of flowers along these nice little branches that are really close to the ground. Um, walking up to your door, you have half a dozen apples right here. This is one full-size, almost full-size tree. So essentially, you're gonna have six apples per tree each year. Oh, definitely, at least, at least. So um, you do this more for entertainment value rather than major fr fruit producing. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty, it's beautiful, it, uh, it feeds us, and it's a really nice novel idea. And if you don't have a whole lot of space but want to try growing some fruit, this is a really good idea for you. So how do you prune these? What's, what's the considerations when you prune this? So basically what happens is we've already pruned these for the year. Um, and so what you'll normally see is one-year-old whippy growth that comes off of this trunk here. And so if we want to establish a spur system, we follow that Lorette technique. Cut it to two to three buds, and then hopefully a spur system will form. If, we, if it's a vegetative shoot that's growing in an area we don't want to produce a spur, then we remove it straight back to the trunk. Are they easier in a way than a full-size espalier? Oh, definitely. So these are much easier because if it gets a little bit high or if it gets a little bit low, we're not too worried about it. With a full-size espalier that's a cordon espalier, we need to make sure that they're staying within a certain zone so that we have that really pretty view through.